Hey everybody, it's Mountain Mike. Thanks again for joining me on the mountain. So we're continuing with the sawmill assembly today and today we're doing the winch shaft, winch shaft cable assembly and whatever else we can get to in it. So let's just get started. There's nothing to it but to do it. All right, so the first thing is the winch shaft. So here's the contents of bag number seven. We're after the winch shaft flange bearings. These are them. So the first thing that you do, take your winch shaft flange bearing on each end, making sure the taper is in. Carriage bolts out of the bag number seven nuts and bolts bag. Make sure your short shaft is to your left. I believe you're gonna have to start with your right side. Take it through this hole. So once you get your winch shaft flange bearings mounted, top and bottom bolts, left and right, then you're gonna take an Allen wrench and we're gonna tighten the shaft onto the flange bearings there. So let's get to that. So for the next step, we got into bag number five again. We've got the cable sheaves, cable sheave anchors, yoke bolts, flange bolts, and shoulder bolts. And these are all for the next step. Now once you have your cable sheaves inserted into your anchors, you come to your saw head plate. So now the next thing to do is get your yoke bolt put through the hole, get your washer and 3 8 nut, and they suggest to put it on about a half inch from the bottom here. So let's do that. Next, taking the cable provided with the looped in, and we're gonna go through the yoke bolt. So once you've got the cable loop secured to the yoke bolt, you take the next cable sheave and shoulder bolt, and you go up to the bottom of the winch frame, and you're gonna mount the cable sheave into this hole like this. So once you get your cable loop and your yoke bolt assembled, and you've got your cable sheave installed in your winch frame. Cable loops back down, and then you loop it under your cable sheave and your anchor plate, making sure you're staying between your attachment point and your winch plate. So once you've done all that, you take your threaded end, and there's four hex nuts, little half inch hex nuts. You're gonna go ahead and insert one onto your threaded end. Take it up behind your winch shaft and then go into towards the middle and then lock it on there with another hex nut. And you do that to the other side same way. All right, so the next thing that we do is attach the winch drum assembly onto the winch shaft. So the winch shaft has a flat spot right here you're definitely supposed to use one of the set screws for and the other one goes to the side on the round portion. So still getting out of bag seven, we have the winch tensioner, winch tensioner spring, and knob. So we have the winch drum cable and there's an anchor point right here. We're gonna install one end into that. Like so. So once we're anchored, we're gonna take and rotate counterclockwise two and a half turns, being careful not to wrap the cable around itself or onto itself. You back your tensioner knob off almost completely and it's spring loaded, so you push down and voila. Making sure the cable all looks good. Now I brought my oil can over today and it tells you to put a couple of drops on the winch cable assembly. That was more than a couple drops. It also tells you to oil this every day of usage. So one of your maintenance points right here. So box number 14 has your winch crank and bag number seven has your handle. Now we'll go and install these. Now we have our 
handle on our winch crank and our set screws and our winch crank set. So the next thing you do is tighten your tensioner knob to put tension on your cable so when you crank up your saw head it's not going to just fall. This they say takes quite a bit of adjustment and playing with. And now we install the winch brake drum cover. Noting the hole in it is for oil. This is where you oil every day. So they say the cable inside here, the winch drum cable, is a wear item and you want to replace that at least every 200 hours and inspect it often. So if this thing breaks, it'll cause your saw head to drop immediately and that could be dangerous. So you definitely want to keep an eye on this cable, oil it every usage, and you should be in good shape. So for the next step, we raise the sawmill up and we're going to install the blade guide bracket. We get that out of box number 14. We're now into bag six. So here's the contents of bag number six all laid out. And the next thing we do is take this blade guide bracket and some of these screws and attach it. And we're going to take the blade guide shafts and rollers and attach those. So let's do that. Okay, we've installed the blade guide bracket. Now they don't tell you, but you got to take that one loose right there. Then you'll need to assemble your blade guide rollers. And you'll just put your blade guide washer nut onto the shaft. Okay, so the next step will be to take the guide block and the guide block holder. And we're going to mount those together. And then we're going to mount these in it. So let's do that real quick. So make sure you pay attention to the orientation of the guide block holder. Grease fitting being on your left, and you can use the flat surface towards you. So once assembled up, it should look like this, leaving your screws flush so your guide block can move along your track. Now I want to say that they tell you to be real careful about your guide block running off your track because there's all sorts of bearings in here. I picked it up like this and just the weight of it rode it right off. I only lost one bearing out of it and I was able to put it back in but it took a minute. So be aware. Don't let this thing come off. There's a lot of little bearings in there. So the next step will be to take these three bolts out So once you have the guide block track in place and bolted down securely, now we need to install the adjustable blade guide handle. There's one shoulder screw for this and we'll go ahead and mount that and that'll finish up this section. Alright, so that was the winch shaft and winch drum assembly. I'm Mountain Mike. Thanks for joining me out on the mountain. Until next time.